Hello! Welcome everyone back to the channel. I am RJSRP Gaming. Uh, obviously GTA. Not the roleplay character because not the name of the Maybe. But we're doing this a funky little video mainly because I am stupid and can't stick to a same schedule. But yeah, I I'm always amazed that this place is here. Luxury Auto is where you buy all the really fancy cars, obviously. But I've always been confused, sir, by the fact that these have been here. Like, glass windows with car displays blatantly here and has not been taken advantage of the fact that you couldn't just come in here to, like, steal something. Now, to be fair, I've not done the, the, the um, setups for the Doomsday Heist, so they may be, but I'm still amazed that you've never had any sort of mission to come here break the glass and steal a car, which I feel like is a kind of a missed opportunity, really. Because, again, one, you could just come in here and steal a car, because, again, we've seen these cars be worth millions. I mean, jeez, the price of recent vehicles have been outstanding. So, the idea that it wouldn't be that hard to just break the glass and steal one, or the idea that you'd have to come through here, through valet, you'd have to pretend to be va a valet, park your car inside, and get one, or, and of course I'm me, so we have to cut all this out, cut all this out, potentially be a client come through the front door, which I don't know if you'd have to dress a certain way, this is Vinewood, so maybe you have to dress a certain style or a certain, or a certain quality of fashion to get in, obviously current attire would not suffice, I mean I could, you know, just drop cash in front of them and say, give me my car, bitch. Or the idea that you come through here as a VIP and be allowed in on a business deal and steal would be really cool. I mean, essentially, because you wouldn't have to really, again, as far as the office goes, uh, the CEO offices already exist, so it's not like we don't have files. No, not like the Rockstar doesn't have the files. Anymore. Light fixtures from um, they have, they've used the garages already, so it's not like you couldn't go in. So it's not that you wouldn't be able to, the ability to have, say, park a car in there. The only thing they would have to really And again, it wouldn't have to be like this big, it wouldn't have to be the main heist, obviously, but maybe have this just be a more functional interior. I mean, it looks fairly, like, at least that part looks functional. And just replace those with some new cars, which would be again, be really cool. Um, but yeah, and maybe having something kind of like what the casino does now, which is where it's kind of a rotating stock. Maybe keep one under the cover. I mean, again, you could keep, like, maybe remove this one entirely and just turn it into, like, office space. But seeing as how this is clearly the, the more focused on version of the car, had this be the one that you would steal or remove it entirely, or remove it all entirely, have this be the car, and then the idea is you'd have to drive out through that window down there. Just an idea. It's, it's one of those things where I'm really kind of confused as to why this has never been taken advantage of in a way. Really, actually, there's a whole lot of stuff in the game which they modified it to. But that's neither here nor there. Thank you guys so much for listening to me rant like a crazy person. Feel free to like and subscribe. Comment if you want to. By all means, let me know. Would you like to see me kind of highlight more things I wish they did more with? There is one other subject I want to hit on yeah, down that way. Me. I'm not going to run that way. I'm not going to make a channel like that. Sorry. Sorry for my apologies. But, yeah. So, we're probably going to end the video a while ago. But, thanks guys. Take care of yourselves. And stay safe.